Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, my name is Lily. Don't forget to check out some of my other DIYs and hopefully if you like them, don't forget to subscribe. So today we are in my living room and we're gonna be talking about my new painted rug. Um, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I did this and giving you guys tips and tricks and also at the end of the video, stay tuned, I will be doing a touch test where I show you how soft it is and I'll also be talking about um, my first failed attempt and how to avoid a crunchy rug as well as why I decided to paint this rug instead of dye it. So stay tuned um, for that. Uh, it'll be at the end of the video. Okay then, let's jump right in. Okay, so here's the Turkish rug I found online. It has incredible detail and I thought it would be a perfect base for this project since it had lots of lights. Honestly, I was definitely considering just leaving the rug like this because it was so beautiful, but it didn't really match my home decor and it also had a few stains, so I decided to paint it a burgundy color. Um, you can get the written instructions and the list of supplies in the link below. I'll go ahead and add it. To begin, for my paint, I used Glidden Interior Paint in the finished flat and mixed equal parts of paint, floor trail, and water. Stir it well and add it to a spray bottle. Don't forget to tape off anything you don't want painted on your rug. Then spray the paint onto your rug and rub the color in with a hard bristle brush. I used a plastic brush. I sprayed a little bit of water in between as well just to help blend the colors more easier into the rug. I didn't use a metal brush just because I didn't want it to rust if it got wet. If you're wondering why I used a spray bottle to spray the color on, it's because it helped control the paint consistency and I shook the bottle every 5 minutes to help keep all the liquids mixed well. I tried having the paint in a cup and dipping a paintbrush or pouring it onto the rug instead of the spray bottle but for some reason the rug wasn't as soft and almost felt crunchy in spots. I used a few different shades of red, a darker burgundy and a bright red. This really helped give it depth. Following that, I finished off all the edges and let it dry overnight. I removed my masked edges in the morning and vacuumed the rug to help move around all the fibers. And that's it. Okay, so here's how it feels and looks like once painted. As you can see, the fibers still move very well with the paint. Okay, so my first attempt was a complete fail because I decided to dilute my paint first with rubbing alcohol. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. And then I opted out for water. Both were a complete fail and left the rug pretty crunchy. And yes, even thinning the paint out a lot and doing thin coats didn't work. It was still pretty crunchy. I was thinking in the beginning to do a very detailed job and use a small paintbrush and only fill in colors where I wanted them, but this took so long. I think I finished like a two by three section in one whole day, literally how long it took me. And this rug is a nine by 12, so this probably would have taken me months to complete. That's when I decided to use a spray bottle and just color it one color and hope for the best. Um, I didn't know this, but apparently water doesn't work very well for thinning latex paint out because the paint still manages to separate after a while. Um, so when I did that, I was dipping my paintbrush in, not realizing I was using non-diluted latex paint at the bottom of the cup, practically painting my rug with just plain latex paint, which left the rug pretty crunchy. Once I found out a way to properly dilute latex paint, it definitely helped soften up the paint and the texture of the rug. Okay, so I did a little bit of research and there's actually two reasons why I decided to paint my rug instead of dye it. And number one is that I've heard people say that the dye bleeds out of the rug uh, if the rug gets wet, which kind of freaked me out and I did not want to stain my floor, so I decided to check that off my list. Number two was I did research on dyeing wool and for the best results, you have to dye wool in heat, which means I'd need a huge pot or some kind of container to fit my whole rug into there and then soak it in the dye and then pull it out and rinse it out. Um, my rug is a nine by 12, which is super heavy without being wet, which would make this a two person job and almost impossible for me. <laughs> so I wanted this to be more approachable. That's why I decided to paint it. Okay, so it's been two days since I painted my rug. I don't know if it's completely dry or not, but 
Um, the paint does slightly come off and it's not like a crazy amount, I'm saying barely noticeable. Um, I am planning on actually heat setting the rug as well with the vinegar and maybe an iron and a cotton um, piece of cotton in between. I'll let you guys know how that goes and the results and if it makes any difference. I'll add those results in the description so don't forget to check those out. I'll keep that updated. Um, that's it for today everyone. I hope you enjoyed this DIY and learned something from it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my other videos. I hope you like them and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!